Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today I'm here with... Chandler. And Chandler is going to be profiling his Exosister deck profile. This deck is absolutely crazy. He actually beat me in the tournament with this deck, and it's just a really fun deck overall. But before we get into this, guys, Chandler, do you have any shout outs before we get into it? Uh, definitely Bud's Place and Leeds. I mm -hmm. uh, really enjoyed this place. We've been coming over the last two years, and this is the only shop I will go to. Oh, yeah, and it's really an awesome place. So let's go ahead and get straight on into the deck profile. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the main deck. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. All right. All right, start off. Best card in the deck. Mm -hmm. Triple Martha. Oh, yeah. She is basically a Wind Witch Ice spell. She'll summon herself and then another from the deck if you only control Exo Sisters or no car or no face up monsters. Uh, definitely one of the best ways to uh, get to Magnifica. Mm -hmm. All right, then we have three Stella. She's basically Goblin Bird for the deck. Uh, but another thing is they all have the same effect of. If you control the other, whenever they activate their effects, you gain 800. Mm -hmm. And also the effect that uh, whenever your opponent moves something out of the graveyard, uh, they can uh, use themselves to XC summons, basically being Zodiax. And while Martha uh, actually will activate no matter what. So if you have a DD Crow in hand, and this is on field, you get a free like Macaulay, Cas uh, Patel, Sophiel. And so on. That's so good. And they work off pretty much the buddy system where like Stella is buddies with Elise and your copy of um, Martha is buddies with Elise as well. And then Elise is friends with particularly Stella, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. Yep. Uh, moving on, the three Elise need three to activate oh, three yeah. Marthas. Uh, you will open this sometimes and it does uh, hit you because uh, mm -hmm. Martha has to summon from deck, but she's a free special summon if you control Exo Sister. Definitely a really good extender. Then, and definitely a three of too. Definitely. And then to round it off, uh, this the ratio go varies from deck to deck, but I am running the two Sophia mm -hmm. and the one Irene. Yeah. Uh, Sophia, what she does is uh, she can draw a card uh, with her summon, and then Irene, she'll uh, sh shuffle back a uh, Exo Sister card from the hand to draw a card as well. Uh, these are two of the worst. You're mainly just summoning these off of Vodis, or if with Sophia, you're adding her and then normal, using your normal summon for it just to get another card. And she's basically like a walking upstart yeah. problem. But these two are actually buddy system too. Like the copy of Irene and Sophia are also buddies too, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Yep, they have to. They have the name shared for uh, Vodis. Yeah. And then uh, for a filler card, uh, one snow. Uh, the reason I put this in is mainly just because you don't really use anything that's in your graveyard, so it's just a free summon. And also, it's nice to have a Book of Moon, and it's a level four light spellcaster, so it goes well, it goes in match. And it's the spice of the deck. That's yeah. a really spicy one, yeah. Chandler. That's a good. That's a good play. I really like that in the deck too. Yeah, I really needed something that was just going to fill the spot, and I felt like this was probably the best option. Uh, but it will probably be taken out for something else later mm -hmm. on. All right, now moving on to the hand traps. Uh, second best card in the deck. Uh, Dimension oh, Shifter. D Shifter is ridiculous. This format. You don't care about your uh, graveyard, and you and since uh, you don't do anything in the grave, uh, if your materials get banished, it doesn't really matter. No, and, and it doesn't. The, and the moment you you put this on somebody, uh, you just put them on the clock. Yeah, and pretty much once you put uh, once you activate this card against my sprite deck, it turns off Toad or anything like that that I use in Grave. It turns off Elf, so I can bring stuff back because everything's getting banished. And against Tier Limit, this card is pretty much an auto win. Yeah, it gets tier players tears. Oh yeah, yeah, they get tears. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do. Uh, moving on, three uh, DD Crow. Mm -hmm. This this card is especially good in this deck, mainly because of Martha. If you can uh, extend with her, uh, but also it's just. Uh, just a great card this format especially uh, shutting down tears and sprites mm -hmm. uh, get rid of ronins get rid get rid of uh, any other targets for elf uh, as a chain to and then to round that off we have three copies of goat stoker and snow rabbit mm -hmm. this is especially good against sprite just because you're able mm -hmm. to uh, shut them shut down if they uh, have a normal summon mm -hmm. uh, that way they can't just extend with other sprites unless they do something like a diva which is an extender mm -hmm. But also can get rid of the uh, the gigantic along with anything else that is trouble. It's just good removal. You just don't want to have this against tier just because it'll just proc tiers. Yeah, and you mentioned too before we started that you were going to play Ash Blossoms, but you didn't have Ash Blossoms on you. Pretty and much. And so as we go through the deck, we'll talk about a little bit about what you said you wanted to change out for the Ash. But you told me that Ghost Ogre at 2 was one of the cards that you thought about. I have. Okay. It either be that or I take out the snow. Okay. Me. So maybe like a snow and one of the spell cards and then a ghost ogre for three ash too as mm -hmm. well, guys. 
Yeah, because this and this card is really good. This format for uh, at least against Sprite uh, tears, mm-hmm. not so much, but at least it's good good to side out. I got you. All right, uh, moving on to the spells. Uh, of course, three copies of packs. Ah, uh, the searcher. One of the best searchers. Uh, it can also be an E-Telly if you have the other uh, name in Grave. But mainly you're just using this to get Martha, using this to get an extender. Mm-hmm. And you can also search your spells and traps with this as well because it searches Exosister cards. So you can get something like Avadis, or Eternia, even the Narmets, uh if you want to. And just paying 800 Pretty much. Takes me back to Cleeforts. Mm-hmm. Takes me back yeah. to paying 800 for Cleeforts, Scout. Yeah, all the spells and traps, they will pay 800 for their costs aside from one. I'll show you in a bit. Okay. Uh I uh, will say the ratios for these uh, coming up are mainly because I didn't have the ashes. Uh, two armaments. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is basically you know quick play. Uh, you target an exosystem monster you control. XC is using it itself as material. So again, turns an exosystem into a zodiac, and uh, it does come up a lot, especially if you cannot like get the Magnifica off mm-hmm. or if something else is going on. I actually really like two of this in my build. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably just going to stick to one, honestly, mm-hmm. uh, especially just because of how the, the card is. You don't really search it. I got you. Would this be one of the cards that you would cut for in a third for the third Ash, like yeah. a Ghost Ogre, a Snow, and then one of these? Yeah, just one of these. Okay. Uh, you definitely want one in the deck in case you, I got you. In case you draw it for turn. So one of those, the Ghost Ogre, and a copy of Snow. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah, and this is a card that's definitely going to go, and that is Exosister... Uh, Carpe Diem. Yep. Uh, this card, honestly, it's got on paper, it's really good. It's basically a prohibition. Uh, also keeps uh, from targeting Exosystem monsters you control with the uh, effects of monsters from the grave. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also it is uh, basically Unending Nightmare as well. But in practice, this card is not good. This is mm-hmm. def- this would definitely be cut for Nash. I, just, I got you. I just have that for filler. And then uh, another one that's going to proc your Martha, one call by the grave. Oh, uh, there it is. Always want that. Yeah. All right. And that pretty much does it for the spells. Okay. As for the traps, uh, three imperm, pretty much necessary in this format. Oh, yeah. Really hits just about everything on field. Mm-hmm. Uh, three Vadis. Uh, some people will experiment with two. I personally like three, just like you have a better way of uh, drawing one. You definitely want to draw the Vadis. Because uh, this will turbo out two extra sisters that have their names shared. Normally, you're going to be summoning Sophia and Irene, and that's one of the reasons that you have the three and two, uh, so or the two and one for for those ratios. But this card is really good because uh, it puts your opponent uh, makes them mind their plays really well because they can't move anything out of gra- either grave or else they're just going to get hammered by uh, XC summons. Yeah, it gets good to two of them on the field, which is really good mm-hmm. because you're summoning two of them from deck with this. Definitely, and then uh, two Returnia. I've gone back and forth of whether I want this at three or not because this card is crazy, especially mm-hmm. if you do get. Get to start with Magnifica mm-hmm. because um, you pay 800, uh, you get a target banish, and then if you've exceed summon, and then you can either exceed summon using uh, Exosisters you control, and if you exceed summon this turn, uh, you get a non target banish. Uh, so it's ba- it's basically three banishes, uh, mm-hmm. well, actually four because Magnifica banish, uh, Magnifica goes in the Macaulay's banish, and then you get two off of that. That's really good. That card is so good as a new card for this deck with it, the copies of Martha. It is. This this card is nuts, and then the rounded off. Uh, my favorite card from a bunch oh of here it is goes, uh. goes in match. Uh, this card, I mean, people go back and forth on it. Honestly, I say play it because you are. I made, agree. The only thing you're really going to be summoning is your Exo Sisters. You rarely go into anything else. Mm-hmm. So and since they're all lights, this card really kills mm-hmm. because the big thing is you don't want to just shotgun it. You want to hit it when it's at a choke point. Say, like, sprites, you hit it when they're on either fires mm-hmm. or even waters. Uh, you, de- you definitely want to make sure that they can only go into one thing because there's a lot of decks that will be, you know, multi, you know, either same type but multi attribute. Uh, especially during Tribe Gate format, this thing was nuts. Oh, yeah. And, and you played this against me, too. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, that, that lockdown really helped because I was pretty much dead in the water if it, this didn't go off. Yeah. Uh, this card has saved me so many times, and I especially love this card in Speedroid because you can just maximize uh, your potential with it. Yeah, that's a really good card. So is yeah. that it for the main deck? That is it for the main deck. 40 cards. Okay. All right. Uh, now for the extra deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is pretty standard. Uh, we got three Macaulay's, one of the best cards in the deck. 
uh, on your, on the turn it's summoned, you get a non-detached target banish in either in grave or on field. So this can also proc a Martha if it's if it's on field. And then uh, you can detach to search a uh, spell or trap, mm -hmm. uh, exorcist or spell or trap. So normally you're going to grab either Pax or Vodis, or if you have Vodis, then you're going to grab Returnia. Uh, just a great card. Um, then we're got to uh, Cast Patel. Cast Patel basically is open. They activate like Scythe. Uh, and then whenever it's summoned, uh, your opponent cannot special summon from the graveyard for the rest of the turn. But this is going to be your Rota because it'll grab. You can detach and add an Exo Sister monster from the deck to the hand. Uh, this is probably going to be the main thing you're summoning first. Uh, especially great if uh, you started out with two Exos and then you just use this to grab Martha. Either that you just grab Sophia or what, whatever you need or Stella if you have mm -hmm. Sophia in the hand. This card came up a lot in, the, in our it, duel when we played in the tournament because this this card was ridiculous because it still it completely shut down my frog plays. Yeah, this card's amazing. Uh, it is one of the best in the deck. Next to this, uh, this is two copies of a Sophio. Sophio is basically it works the same way as Cast Patel, but when it's summoned, it negates everything in the grave. So it basically is a Bist Dweller. That card's so good. Yeah, and they all they both activate on summon, so it's a mandatory effect. Slimer Mellow. It's like. Uh, artifact scythe i got uh, you but this card is just really good especially against tears that card was so good against yeah. tear today tears hate this card oh yeah 100 percent uh then we have two copies of jabreen uh she's not as important but mainly she's your way to go to otk because uh she's she also has a, a quick effect in the gate uh whenever she on the turn she summons i mean but you're not really focused on that mm -hmm. Deck isn't about negation. This deck is mainly about interaction. Uh, but with her is when she, when uh, you detach for her, uh, she makes all exo she makes all uh, Xyz monsters gain 800 attack for the rest of the turn that you control. So and that's not currently on field. So what you'll do is you'll uh, take the Jabreen after she's activated and probably like a Cast Patel or whatever else is on field while you keep a Macalus. And then you make uh, this card right here. Magnifica. Bet this is basically your end board. And Magnifica is magnificent. This card is absolutely crazy in this deck, too. And especially when you summon out uh, your copy of Jabreen, because it makes it 36. Mm-hmm. Makes it 36, and it attacks twice. So, yeah, this that's why you really want to, like, make it with that. But anyway, this card's amazing. Again, uh, attacks twice. Uh, once per turn, it gets a non-target banish by Detach. And then it has another effect that's really interesting. Uh, uh, whenever your opponent activates an effect, you can chain this. Uh, whatever you have attached to it, you can tag out back to the extra deck and then summon it using her as material. So she'll dodge Imperm, she'll dodge a bunch of other effects. Mm -hmm. uh, you really, this is what you want to end with uh, every uh, every turn uh, when you go first. And she's also a quick effect banish too. Mm -hmm. Yep, she is. Which will come up. Non-target too. I mean that because you do that, and then if you have Macaulay, you get another banish, and then with Eternia, that's third and fourth. Oh yeah, All right. That does it for the Exos. Uh, the rest of the extra deck really is just filler spots. That's why Prosperity is really uh, popular in this deck. But of course, uh, I do not want to pay that much money for. I don't even card. want to pay that much money for that card. Right. I don't blame you right now until it gets reprinted. Until it gets reprinted. I mean, once it does. Definitely, you want to play three Prosperity uh -huh. just because you have so much room in this extra deck. Uh -huh. uh, so you can easily just banish six or either save it for another Prosperity for another turn just to dig for Martha. Oh, yeah. But uh, the options are uh, pretty much standard, what people do. Uh, one copy of Exoton Knight. I've heard that this can come up because, you know, uh, it wipes the board. And also, it is just... It's Exiton Knight. That's the best thing to do. It and also, it's a light, too, so you can summon Iron Gozum. Mm -hmm. Just about everything in here you can summon mm -hmm. the Ghost and stuff from one card. And then the round off the Xyz monsters. Again, since we are an Xyz deck, you have to play Zeus. I mean, oh, yeah. That, that is just standard Xyz decks. Uh, Zeus is just a powerhouse. And it it did kill me in the, one of the matches I had earlier today. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that pretty much rounds off the Xyz monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, we do play two links. Uh, you you almost never go into them because you're locked in the Exos and Sisters un under Martha, and that's going to be one Lina and one Access Code. I got and you. Never, ever do I ever summon them. The only reason that I would see the Lina coming up is because if you go into the Light Charmer, if your opponent throws a Lid at you, you need to link it away. Yeah. That's the only reason that I think I remember you telling me why. 
You know, it's that. I mean, actually, I think it has to some in the defense position, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, if they throw the lib on the field and you can't link summon or oh. you can't summon at all, you have to link summon and so oh, you actually, get rid of that. Oh, actually, no, it can be some if it's, if it's light, it can be summoned. It doesn't have to be a – so it can be a link, too. Yeah. So you can easily do that, go into this, and just, you know, pop the board. Oh, yeah. But, well, you're only going to get one pop because you only play one. Still comes uh, out at 43. But it's still a 43 beater. Um but that pretty much rounds it off uh, okay. for the deck. Uh, as I said before, mm-hmm. um, so what would you change out for those ashes? Honestly, for the ash, I mean, for the ashes, uh, just putting my three ashes right here for you guys. Definitely that carpidium. I would do one of the armaments, and then between uh, one ogre or one of the, or actually no, not one of. It's the snow. Uh, it's either going to be the, one of these or the snow. I got you. Uh, Odds are probably going to be the snow because I do like snow rabbit, uh, but yeah, I mean these are mainly just the cards that get yeah. it, to get it the forty. So if you guys want to put these three ash in, you can just change out these three right here mm-hmm. for the particular deck. Yeah. So you have a side deck. Uh, I don't want to show that just because. Ah, uh, it's the spice. Well, it's not really the spice. Side decks really depend on your local metas. I got you. So your what you see for someone else's side deck mm-hmm. is probably not going to apply to what you see. I understand that. Else. All right. Because some, you you have uh, certain locals that are really focused on road decks, so you're really going to uh, focus on having that stuff in the, ro- uh-huh. the road decks. You have one that has full meta, and you're really going to be siding for the full meta. I got so you. So side decks really depend on where you're going how you're playing, and just what you want to do as well. So that's why I don't ever include side decks, because it's not it's not a one-size-fits-all. That's kind of why I don't do them on my channel, too. So mm-hmm. I totally get that. So 100%. I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, do you have any shout-outs? Any other shout-outs? Uh, I mean, my, my buddy Tyler mm-hmm. uh, and my buddy Trey. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've done really good for me over the years. Uh, my buddy... Uh, Which have both been on the channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, uh, my buddy Silver, of course, mm-hmm. and uh, that's about it. All I right, mean, just about everyone that comes to buds. All right, so thank you so much, guys, for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much, channel, for letting me profile your deck, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys. Yeah, have a good one.